Hello and welcome back. What do we have here? Oh, Jesus. Is this Steve I? How the hell did I know that? This sounds like something Steve I would have done with Zappa. This is slightly perplexing. Is this from like the mid 90s or something? Who's that guy? Why is he reminding me of Mike Pat? This is kind of like a pop song, but it's not. I never heard this before. Uh oh, crossroads. Brief but wailing. That, that singer is angry. It is? That's insanity. That's Devin Townsend? I would never have known that. Drummer looks like Abe Laboriel, Laboriel Jr. Wow. That was a rough time for that kind of music. Grunge had fully taken over by that point. And Steve Vai had to contend with grunge. What a sad situation that is. Who's the drummer on that? Terry Bozio. Is that Terry Bozio on the actual recording? I guess it could have been. Terry has the Bozio, Bozio, I don't know, Zio. Terry does have the ability to play with such restraint, though, that he could, uh, he could blend in as just a pop drummer. You wouldn't know it was the same guy who played with Zappa. Or Jeff Beck, for that matter. I mean, you check out Terry when he plays with Missing Persons. That's pretty uh, pop in the pocket playing. That sounded good. That was like, that was very, uh, 
That was very in the pop genre for Steve Vai. He usually takes his stuff a little bit further, a little bit further out there. I like that, though. That was good. Good singing, good guitar playing, good band, good composition. I'm surprised he didn't put out a grunge album. Then again, I'm not surprised. Yes, very good. I never heard that before. Interesting. My favorite Steve Vai is definitely flexible. So take that to the bank. Thank you very much. Very good. Thank mm -hmm. you. 